uh, the, the censorship law 295A, which forbids the so-called insulting of religion, effectively the criticism of religion, effectively the criticism of Islam, because it's only Islam that they had trouble with. If you criticized Islam, you, you could count on some murder happening. Whereas if you criticized Hinduism, you know, all that would happen was a counter-criticism written from the Hindu viewpoint. Like, um, in fact, let's focus for a moment on this law. You see, this was voted in 1927, just after two very prominent murders of Swami Shraddhananda, one of the co-founders of the Hindu Mahasabha, uh, a great reformist, anti-caste and so on, but also a great promoter of the reconversion of Muslims to Hinduism. And so it's because of the reconversion of one particular Muslim family that other family members came after him and murdered him. And then shortly thereafter, the murder of uh, Rajpal, the publisher of a book called Rangila Rasul. Now, what is this book? Um, the first was a Muslim writing against Sita, you know, Rama's wife Sita, saying that she was a prostitute and representing all kinds of scurrilous things about her. And what do Hindus do? Did they go after the writer and murder him? No, that's not the Hindu way of doing things. They wrote a counter book. They said, okay, if you can insult Sita, well, we can do the same thing with Muhammad. You know, it, it, which is just like in the, the, the debate between this uh, Taslim Rahmani and Nupur Sharma. They're exactly the same. He insulted Shiva. And so she said, well, if you do that, let's say something about Muhammad. And she didn't insult Muhammad, she just quoted what Islam itself says about Muhammad. Anyway, but so this is what happened here. So he um, scoured the, uh, the Muslim source text for details about the sex life of Muhammad. Rangila Rasul literally means the colorful prophet, but so that's a sort of polite way of saying the sex crazed prophet. And uh, so you see, what he said was nothing that he invented. It was there in the Islamic source text. Nevertheless, Muslims took it as an insult. What did they do? Did they write a counter book as Hindus do? No, they murdered him. And so the British said, you know, let's stop these endless murders. Um, and the only way to do it is to prevent criticism of Islam. Now, having a sort of secular regime, they couldn't say, okay, let's prohibit criticism of Islam. They had to say, let's prohibit criticism of religions. But of course, what they, exact, what they meant actually was criticism of Islam. 